Hello everyone, this is Jacob Evans here and I am currently sitting live in our lounge room uh, in Moe South and it is a huge pleasure uh, for me to come and join you tonight. I'm sitting here with my family, they're all in the room here at the moment and um, all trying to intimidate me I'm sure, I'm sitting in here. But um, I'm really looking forward to playing uh, some of the wonderful hymns and that's what this night's all about. I'm, I'm just here to play some of the hymns, some of the hymns of the faith that have meant so much to me over all of the years, and I'm sure so much to you as well. I mean, you know, as a Christian, besides the Bible, I think the hymns come in a pretty close second to some of our most beloved uh, things that we can you know, in worship and um, in hymn and in song. And uh, the next piece I'd like to play is It Is Well, It Is Well With My Soul. And I think at the moment, with the lockdown and everything that's going on at the moment, it's important for us to remember to keep our eyes on the Lord and to say, it is well with my soul. wonderful reminder that is it is well it is well with my soul such precious words and when you look into the story behind Horatio Spafford's life the guy that wrote the hymn it's it's even more amazing you know, what he went through with the shipwreck and everything and even still he was able to say it is well with my soul so praise the Lord for that the next piece I'd like to play a bit more of an uplifting one how wonderful how marvelous is my savior's love for me
Before this night started, um, I put out on the post that uh, I was open to requests and open to um, you know people throwing some comments out and seeing if there was any hymns that anyone wanted to hear. And quite a number of the ones I would, I'll be playing tonight are requests. They've actually been brought up and people wanted to hear them. It as well was one of those. Um, How Marvelous was just a, it's a piece that I love. I think it's a great hymn. And so I threw that one in there. Uh, great is thy faithfulness is another truly wonderful piece that I'm I'm going to play next and you know it was requested for tonight um, and I think it's super fitting you know great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness morning by morning new mercies I see all I have needed thy hand hath provided great is thy faithfulness Lord unto me even regardless of what's going on in our lives great is God's faithfulness for us Such a beautiful hymn, such beautiful words, and you know, it's just a, it's a beautiful hymn all around. I think, "Great is Thy faithfulness, Lord unto me." Uh, behind the desk, I've got uh, Dad running the sound tonight. 
and um, and the visuals, and it's amazing. I think not that long ago, and I think what we're doing right now would be uh, just a phenomenon. You know, the fact that I can sit at home and everyone, you know, you all could be watching uh, from wherever you're sitting in your own homes, uh, but. I think it's wonderful that uh, at such a time as this, when we've got lockdown and everything taking place, that we are able to do this. We are able to um, come together in, in such a way as this, uh, live over the internet. So, you know, praise God for that. Absolutely wonderful. A uh, bit of a change of pace. Uh, we're going to be bringing in um, some good, fun numbers tonight. Uh, washed in the blood. Are you washed in the blood? Um, and uh, a bit of a medley with uh, Calvary halfway through. So we'll see how we go with this one. Moves along at a pretty quick pace, so as long as the train can stay on the track, we'll see how we go getting our way through this. So washed in the blood. Good old fun hymns, that one. <laughs> I think there's some miming clapping going on in here. <laughs> Trying to keep some of the noise down a little bit. Um, it's interesting in a household with eight kids and two parents and one grandma all living on the same sort of place, you know, that's a lot of peoples uh, in one place. And sometimes the house can get kind of rowdy and... Um, you know, this room is, uh, is good for so long as there aren't people running through it when you're trying to practice. Um, it always keeps things a little bit interesting. Um, this next one was a request. I wasn't actually... Um, th this one came in, uh, someone requested One Day at a Time, Sweet Jesus, and I wasn't super familiar with the, the song. I didn't know it. Um, I sort of had to brush up on it just a little bit to see if I could get my way through it. So um, a good piece, this one. This one's quite well known, I think. Um, Probably not technically a hymn, but I think it's still a great piece and a great song about our Lord Jesus. And so this is One Day at a Time, Sweet Jesus.
and sings my soul, my saviour God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Beautiful, beautiful words and a wonderful hymn. This next piece that uh, I'd like to play was also suggested and this one I didn't know. It, it just it, it came up as a suggestion and um, I didn't know it and I had to look up in the hymnal and I, I, I still... And not um, as, as sure of it as I would like to. I'm going to play it tonight because it was requested and I love the hymn. I think it's beautiful. It's called In Deeper Consecration. And I've actually I've got my copy here uh, to make sure that I get through successfully. Um, but I think the words are wonderful. And I was looking through this and I'm going to read them out uh, because I'm not sure how many people actually do know this. It came from, uh, I think it, it's mostly in the Salvation Army hymnal. Uh, from where, It's where I got it from anyway. Um, The words here, in the depths of my soul's greatest longing, I am coming, dear Saviour, to thee, offering each thought and each deed for refining, let thy touch now descend upon me. And then the chorus goes along and says, sanctify me with the fire of thy indwelling as I tarry in the shadow of thy cross. I think the words are really, really beautiful. And uh, um, this is the song we're going to play next. That's a beautiful hymn, that one. Draw me, draw me nearer to thee in deeper consecration. Watch, wash me, Lord, and cleanse my soul from fear and dross. These are lines I didn't read before. Sanctify me with the fire of thy indwelling as I tarry in the shadow of the, of the cross. Aren't we blessed with the amount of hymns I th- that have been written for us? Um, and over all the years, all the hymn writers and songwriters um, written, you know, hymns with such great, such strong doctrine in them. Praise the Lord for that. Um, I had reading reading God's word and God's scripture. You know, at the moment, um, there's a verse that I find very dear to my heart. I, I wanted to read it tonight. I've got my Bible here. If I can get myself organised here. Um, David in the Bible, I think, is is um, one of my favourite. I've got a, I've got a lot of favourite people in the Bible. I think, but but David is one of my favourite. One of my favourite people in the Bible. He's his um, he's example to us uh, of a man who he's not perfect, but but he is perfect before his God because he cleans his heart before his God. And this is from the Book of Psalms. It's Psalm ninety one, and I think it's such a beautiful such a beautiful Psalm. I just want to read. I just want to read part of this because I think it's so relevant to today. And what we're going through at the moment with the COVID and all the lockdown and everything like that, you know, sometimes it's easy for us to to focus on things that aren't important, focus on the worldly things, 
when we really need to be keeping our eyes and mind on the Lord Jesus Christ. So let me read part of this. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His buckler shall be thy shield. His truth, sorry, shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. In such words of comfort, I think, for this time... As we, as we ponder what's going on in the world, I think many of us are left with questions. I know myself, so I have to keep myself in check all the time because what's going on in the world, you know? There's COVID, there's lockdown, everything's unsettled. No one knows the future, but we do know someone that knows the future. And he's the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and he, is, he is near us, he's with us. And like I said, it's easy for us to sometimes just keep our eyes on the world, but this next piece, I think, sums it up perfectly. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. And this was requested, this piece. Uh, and I'm so glad it was because this is a, um, it's a beautiful hymn, this one. Beautiful hymn. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. And, um, you know, the words of the verse, O soul, are you weary and troubled? No light in the, I'm going to misquote this here, no light in the darkness you see. Um, maybe I'll just jump straight to the chorus. I think it's safer. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face, and the things on earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. The things on earth will grow strangely dim. And I think that's so fitting for this time as, as we see what's going on in the world, the things on earth growing strangely dim as, we, as we're focusing on the Lord and keeping our eyes on him. So I hope you enjoy this hymn as much as I do. This is such a beautiful piece. Turn your eyes upon Jesus.
I'm going to slot an extra piece in here. Uh, it wasn't on my list, uh, but it was brought up real quick um, right before we started that uh, Blessed Assurance should be on the list. And I agree. I think Blessed Assurance should be on the list. What an assurance we have in the Lord Jesus Christ, um, that blessed assurance that he gives us um, for uh, difficult times that we go through. So blessed assurance. Praise the Lord. I love such these, these hymns. They are so wonderful. Like I've said, I, I just find them beautiful. Uh, they don't get played as much as they used to, and I think that's a shame. Um, but uh, they're still so relevant to us, even hundreds of years after they've been written. Um, thank you all for joining. Uh, we're coming close to the end of our program. So I'm just getting a bit of a bit of comment from... <laughs> okay, um, so a uh, bit of interference in the room. <laughs> As I said, noisy room, you know how it goes. Um, so I um, hope you've enjoyed the evening. I've really enjoyed playing these hymns, and it's been such a blessing to me uh, just to be able to play them here and just to remember God's goodness to us. Um, I do have another play- piece I'd like to play, To God Be the Glory. I don't think you can go out in any concert without To God Be the Glory. Uh, it's, it's a good old rousing anthem, that one. Um, just want to remind everyone that... Um, and if you're watching tonight and you haven't already, uh, if you'd like to receive some more, some more of the content from the page, please feel free to subscribe to the channel um, so, you, so you receive updates um, just, to, just to keep us all in the loop. But um, otherwise, thank you so much for joining. 
Uh, I want to thank uh, once again my parents for helping organise this and the family for for supporting this running. Otherwise, I can't. Be, <laughs> I couldn't have done it by myself. So, thank you very much. Uh, this is to God be the glory. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful evening, and thank you once again for joining us. May God bless you all tonight. Thank you. I'm back. <laughs> Just when you think you could get rid of me, this is the exterlude, not interlude. Um, I was reminded in the house, for those who are still with us, if you're looking for a bit of post-concert entertainment, um, that I actually didn't play one of the in-house suggestions and I am in, I'm in big trouble. Yeah, it came from mum and... <laughs> So if you're, if you're looking for a little bit of extra, um, the piece, Jesus, 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 I can't believe I missed it because it's written here, three Jesuses in a row. I mean, how can you miss that? So um, this is Jesus, 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 a bit of a, a post-concert entertainment um, if you're still hanging around. Thank you very much. <laughs>
All right, that is officially the end of the end of the evening. So thank you very much for joining us once again. May God bless you all.